know in you. <laughs> this video was all over the place. I'm talking about one thing, then I'm talking about another. I don't understand why am I like this. Uh. <laughs> what's up welcome back to my youtube channel so i know it's been like a month i think since i posted my last video which was my video about melanie and i meeting my online best friend if you haven't seen it go click the link in the description <laughs> so today's video is going to be kind of serious it's about anxiety. It's about anxiety in general and my anxiety because I do have it. I've had it my whole life. I just felt like I needed to talk about it because a lot of people don't understand. A lot of people don't understand. They don't get it. And hopefully I'll help people understand a little bit. Um, not only just about anxiety, but like about me and why I kind of am the way that I am in certain aspects. I've suffered from anxiety my whole life, since I was little, since I can remember. Basically when I <laughs> could talk, and it's been very hard for me. My anxiety would get to the point, it would get so bad to where I would start crying uncontrollably. I couldn't help it. I would get so overwhelmed with the situation that was happening that I just I just broke down and started crying. If someone like came up to me and asked me a simple question like, oh blah blah blah, I would I just couldn't do it. Like I either wouldn't say anything or I would just start to cry or almost cry or just, you know, uh <laughs> I wouldn't ever like really freak out externally but I would be freaking out internally. Like my mind would just be going and going and I'm like, oh God, so like this person is talking to me, I get it out. And it's crazy because it's like I wanted to talk to people. Like I had it in my head, I wanted to say it, but it wouldn't come out. It's like pretty much what I can describe it as. Well, it's not only is it anxiety, it's social anxiety. Those two kind of mix together. They're kind of pretty, they're very similar, but. <laughs> I consider them to be kind of different in ways, obviously. I would say that like for as far as like talking to people in social anxiety, it's like when somebody would talk to me or try to talk to me, all my motor skills would just not work. They would shut down. Like I couldn't talk, I couldn't do anything, even though I wanted to. It's like I wanted to be like make friends, have you know, talk to people, have conversations, but the thing is is I don't know how. I mean, I know how, it's just difficult. It's very difficult. People will be like, oh, she's a bitch. She thinks she's too good to talk to us or she's being rude, this and that. It's not that at all. It's anxiety, I can't help it. Once again, <laughs> for the longest time, I wouldn't talk to anybody at all. I would barely even say hi. That was when I was younger. As I got older, like, I would start saying more things and speaking more and not being as awkward and the whole crying thing stopped at around age i would say like 14 15 and that's pretty bad but sometimes i still get to the point where i almost cry but i don't but going back to like barely talking to people the only people that i would ever really talk to was my dad and my nana those are the people that i honestly talk to the most obviously because i live with them so why am i not gonna talk to them thing is i have to get comfortable with you to be able to talk to you and open up to you and sometimes that takes me a while it does to this day i still struggle immensely I'm so much better, but I still have a long ways to go. I'm progressing, but I would say 2016 and this year have been really great for me as far as that. Broadcasting on you now has helped me a lot. It really has. Like, it's really helped me. Whether it's guesting people or just talking in general and like letting myself, just expressing myself to people. And I don't know, it's, it's helped me. And I'm glad that I started to broadcast again on you now instead of just watching people. It's brought me so many friends and it's introduced me to some of my very best friends to this day. Melanie, Morgan, Lupe, like, and I have so many other ones, but, um, those are just my, my ones that I guess I trust the most. <laughs> but anyway, when I first talk to somebody, I'm quiet. I don't really show 100% of myself 
that's because well I do have insecurities obviously a lot of people have insecurities and for me it's like for one anxiety for the 75th time we've said in this video two I'm afraid okay well if I show them my true self they might not like me they might not talk to me and, but then like my stupid think my like it's such stupid thinking because it's like okay well you're gonna have to do it eventually so you might as well do it uh, ahead of time instead of waiting because of how I am with telling people personal things I've been betrayed in the past I've told people personal things about myself and they went and to like told other people or like their friends or they said it on broadcast or something like that and it causes me not to want to trust anybody else ever, you know? Like would you do that? Like if you've been betrayed by people when you thought you could trust? Would you just, oh, hey, who, hey, new person I met five minutes ago, <laughs> you want to hear about the time I almost died? <laughs> like, no, you're not going to do that. Not me, at least. But because of the way I am with this, it's caused me to lose friends. It's caused me to lose the guys that I've liked because, well, I mean, because I'm not sharing my life with them, what has happened, you know. So they're like, well, how are we supposed to be together if we can't communicate, you know? But I've gotten past that. But the thing is, is if I don't do that, I honestly, if I have a feeling, then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna open up. I have to trust you first and I have to see that you're worthy to know. Like, not worthy, like I'm some queen or something, but like, worthy enough to know about my very very not so great life i have been overcoming it a lot though i recently told somebody about my mom which i haven't told anybody else besides that besides melanie my best friend I re i'm not gonna say who it is <laughs> but you know who you are if you're watching <laughs> and you may be wondering well, why aren't you saying who it is i don't really know because I don't know if he would like to be in the video, so I'm just not going to do that. Online, I'm a lot more outgoing, but in real life, not so much. Not until I warm up, at least. It's been a real struggle for me throughout my whole life, and I've never taken any medication for it. Uh, I am getting better every day and growing. It's never going to fully go away. But I just hope that years from now, it will continue at this pace. I wanted to tell you guys about this because it is a very, very big part of my life. And I want to share my life with you guys as the best I can. So in conclusion, if you know somebody that has anxiety, please, please be patient with them. It's not their fault. Be kind. Listen to them. Don't push them to say or do things that they don't want to do. Let them warm up to you. Let them go at their own pace because in the end you could end up losing them or cause them to have a panic anxiety attack. So it's a real thing. I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and kind of can understand a bit more about anxiety and my anxiety um, and how I am. Why are you the way that you are? Insert me. <laughs> yeah, if you guys liked it, leave a like, subscribe, Comment down below if you have anxiety as well or you know somebody that does. You can leave suggestions down below for video topics and I will maybe do them. But yeah, I love you guys. I will see you when I see you. I don't have, I, you know I don't upload regularly. I'm trying. <laughs> don't forget to follow my social medias. They are all Destiny29 except for my Twitter that is DestinyR29. I will see you guys later. Gotta go.